Hello, it's Dr. Rhonda Johnson, and today is Tuesday, June 15th, 2021. And today I'm going to be talking about myocarditis following the messenger RNA vaccines in young people. Now, folks, in bringing forth information on the COVID pandemic and the vaccines, I have tried to be fully transparent about the good and the not so good. Now we have another concern. There's growing concern about cases of myocarditis. Myocarditis is inflammation of the heart muscles, and this has occurred following COVID vaccination with the Pfizer and the Moderna vaccines, with most cases occurring after the second dose. Now, I want to go a little bit more into detail about what is myocarditis. Myocarditis is an inflammation of the heart muscle, and the heart muscle is called the myocardium. Myocarditis can affect your heart's muscle and your heart's electric, electrical system that causes your heart to beat. And so myocarditis can reduce your heart's ability to pump blood, and it can cause your heart to have rapid or abnormal heart rhythms, and those are called arrhythmias. So myocarditis usually results from infection from a virus, such as the COVID virus. Folks, the COVID infection can cause myocarditis, especially that complication called multi-system inflammatory syndrome in both adults and children. Uh, drugs can cause it, or it can be a part of a general inflammatory condition. Now, signs and symptoms include chest pain, fatigue, shortness of breath, and feelings of palpitation and abnormal heartbeat. Now, if it becomes severe, severe myocarditis can weaken your heart so that your body doesn't get enough blood, clots can form in your heart, and you can have a stroke or a heart attack. So it's potentially serious. Now, the Centers for Disease Control, the CDC, they have verified 226 cases of myocarditis after COVID-19 vaccination in people 30 and under, and another 475 plus cases are under review. So while rare, you know, the uh, cases for people following a second dose in the age ranges of 16 to 24 are above what is expected. So the Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices, it's called the ACIP, these are some of the world's experts on vaccines uh, in the United States. They're meeting on Thursday, June 19th, to review this data. So again, this has occurred after the Pfizer and the Moderna vaccines, most commonly after the second dose, and they're around 780 to 800 cases of myocarditis. Now, this is occurring mostly in males, and the median age uh, for a case of myocarditis following the second dose of the COVID vaccines, the messenger RNA vaccines, is 24. Again, the most common symptoms are chest pain, shortness of breath, and then when they test the people, uh, they have abnormal uh, EKG changes, electrocardiogram changes. They may have elevated cardiac enzymes. They may have abnormal imaging tests like echocardiograms. Now, fortunately, the vast majority, over 80% of folks, have had a full recovery. It seems to be transient, and the rest are ongoing. Uh, some have been hospitalized, including three people wound up in the ICU. So, um, the CDC is, has alerted clinicians to be aware of this. Usually this occurs within a week after that second shot. So, what to do, right? You're hearing all this information. What to do? We certainly have a lot of people who haven't decided to get COVID vaccines, particularly young people. And they're the big age group, demographic group now that is getting COVID. So if you're a young person between 18 and 30, and particularly if you're a male, I know you're probably wondering, 
should you get the vaccine? Well, I heard a vaccine expert, and these are, you know, people that really are experts that develop vaccines, run the clinical trials, say something that I think is worth repeating. So this doctor said, you know, again, the numbers are small. Over 308 million vaccine doses have been given in the United States so far. So suppose you were in a stadium with 100,000 people, all men, all unvaccinated. If they got the vaccine, two men out of the 100,000 might develop myocarditis post-vaccination. If none of the 100,000 men got the COVID vaccine, 1,300 would go on to develop COVID infection. So that's what the numbers look like in terms of real life. So given the highly contagiousness of COVID and the fact that these new, more serious variants keep evolving, the safest choice continues to be vaccination, I think. And some of the experts, a lot of the experts agree and say the same thing. I still think we need to get folks vaccinated, period, to save lives. I think every life is worth saving. And this is my opinion, of course. So I did this video to be, uh, to, to share the information so that people can continue to be informed as always, you should talk to your doctor or your health care provider if you're unsure about whether or not you should be vaccinated, especially if you have underlying heart issues. As always, my views are my own. My only intent is to help save lives. Have a blessed day.